Well, you know, one of the one of the major benefits I gained from taking um, the class um, spiritual nurturing was the fact, you know, that in coming to church, you always hear that it's very important for you as a as a believer to learn who you are in Christ Jesus. And although we learn to make different confessions and we learn the scriptures and we learn what's in the word, the application of how you do that sometimes is lost in just coming to church. And in this class, and I think one of the, the uh, major uh, questions that we all have in life was uh, examined were really two major questions and it's, it's why am I here and who am I? And in this class in spiritual nurturing, one of the major things we learned was how God had specifically and individually hardwired your DNA to be who he had called you to be and how he had placed certain giftings and talents within you. We all know that there are gifts available to us through the body of Christ but we, don't, we still aren't given a process or an infrastructure or a lesson plan, so to speak, of how to carry, you know, how to apply those giftings in the marketplace. And in this class, that was one of the major things we learned. First of all, we learned at, through an examination of several of the gifts that were explained to us, how, how to identify with a particular gifting as to how God had designed us uniquely design us. And then after learning about uh, your individual gifting or how you individually were hardwired, we were given tools to use as to how to develop our spirit in conjunction with the Holy Spirit and how to develop our human spirit to make it bigger so we could connect with those giftings in practical application and using them in the marketplace. And so, it, to me, the class was, it, it wasn't like a, a lot of things you do in church. You know, in church, you go to a lot of workshops sometimes. We have a lot of meetings sometimes. And during that time, you receive a lot of good information and you're really motivated and you're really, uh, you know, uh, you get really excited and built up about what you receive. But then once it's over, you have all this information and you don't know what to do with it. So it's kind of like in the next couple of weeks, it kind of just kind of goes away and you just kind of file it away for a while and you kind of go back to doing what you're used to doing. But in this class, you were given a definite process to follow. You were given these tools to use to, to, for, and, and through it to see how God had uniquely designed you and what you needed to do in life. But also, you were also given the responsibility, I'll say, or the charge from the instructor to, to don't take this information and set it on a shelf. You've been given these tools, now take them and use them and apply them in the marketplace. And so at the end of the class, you had this information, but you you were able to take it, you were able to, to, uh, to plow the ground, so to speak, to develop your spirit in the unique way that you were designed and then to be able to go out and use those giftings and those talents that God had given you in the marketplace. So, you know, to kind of sum it up, the class kind of makes me think about a song we used to sing in church. And um, it's an old song, but, but it says, you know, you won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. And it's kind of like at the end of taking this spiritual nurturing class, you won't leave that class like you came in Jesus' name.